I'm going to be very brief in, our clo in my closing, which is simply this. Where is the city of Madison going in the next four years? Are we taking advantage of all of those opportunities that make us a great place? We talk about where we're making our major investments in our economy, in our transportation system, in our budgeting, in our infrastructure. And it's making sure that we are holding ourselves up to that highest level, that we can write back and say, we've done these amazing things on energy efficiency, that we've done amazing things on transportation for the rest of the country to model, that we've done amazing things on making sure that we have an equitable workforce that includes, empowers, and innovates. We can do that in the city of Madison, but what it's going to take is new ideas, it's going to take a community that's willing to work together, a compassionate community, and look at how the city of Madison can be the greatest place for everyone, not only to reside, to live, to work, and to enjoy our community. I thank you all so much for coming out to Central Library tonight in this beautiful facility, and I would encourage you to vote on April 7th. The responsibility of being mayor is actually a very joyful one, as difficult as it may be. The vision of this city is to create for ourselves, for our family and friends, an inclusive place for all of us to live, to work, to play, and to learn together. It's a real challenge to deal with a budget situation as I inherited, the mounting debt, to face the challenges of homelessness, of disparity, the worst vacancy rate for housing in the country, and to go about working with the private sector, working with the city council, working with you, on all of these challenges in a consistent and fair manner. We have made great progress in four years. But I want to share with you something that was said to me after the last budget was adopted. One member of the City Council came up to me and said, it's a great budget. Mr. Mayor, you got everything you wanted we, the City Council, got everything we wanted. And I said, that's the problem. You can't do it all. You have to make tough choices. They have to be fair. I've tried to serve you that way. I will continue to serve you that way. And when I look at my responsibility, it's not an insider's game. Now, there are people with influence. There are people who are referred to as the movers and shakers, the people who can build 60 and $80 million buildings, the people who can write out checks for a million dollars to nonprofits. They're important. But so are the people who go to work every day, don't show up at every neighborhood meeting, don't write in a comment on every post in Isthmus online or the Cap Times, well, Cap Times doesn't have them anymore, the State Journal online. It's recognizing the importance of the folks who do the day-to-day -day lifting around here. I am committed to serve everyone fairly, hopefully intelligently, hopefully with a certain degree of grace, and recognize that I don't have all the answers. A reporter came up to me at one point in the 1990s and said, Mayor, you get everything you want, pointing to Monona Terrace and a whole group of other projects. 
And I said, no. I didn't want them. Those were other people's ideas. It wasn't my idea to solve the convention center challenge by dusting off the Monona Terrace plans. It was other people's. My job is to make it happen fairly and equitably, and with your help, I can do that. Thank you.